Recently, a major clash between Taylor Swift and Donald Trump grabbed the public's attention. After Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris for the 2024 presidential election, Trump quickly responded with a scathing rant on his social media platform, Truth Social. He declared that he hates Taylor Swift, marking a significant shift in tone from previous interviews where he had praised her. This feud highlights the growing divide between Swift's political activism and Trump's fierce opposition to figures aligning with the Democratic Party. Swift's endorsement of Harris came soon after the 2024 presidential debate. She used her Instagram account, with millions of followers, to announce her support for Harris and her running mate, Tim Walz. Swift encouraged her followers to register to vote, and the effect was immediate. Over 400,000 people visited the voter registration website within 24 hours. In her post, Swift emphasized the importance of transparency in elections, especially in the face of misinformation. She also made it clear that recent AI-generated images of her endorsing Trump, which had circulated online, were false. Swift's message focused on the dangers of misinformation, especially in such a crucial election period. Her endorsement post showed her holding her cat, Benjamin Button, as she urged her followers to research the candidates and make informed decisions. This public endorsement didn't sit well with Trump. Just days after Swift's post went viral, Trump took to Truth Social, expressing his anger in an all-caps post, I hate Taylor Swift. This explosive reaction was not entirely surprising, as Trump had been critical of celebrities who use their platforms for political activism, especially when they support his opponents. The backlash from Trump didn't end there. His supporters quickly followed suit, launching their own criticisms of Swift across social media. Many of Trump's followers accused Swift of using her influence irresponsibly, claiming that entertainers should stay out of politics. However, this isn't the first time Swift has faced such criticism. Over the past few years, she has become increasingly vocal about her political beliefs, which has drawn both support and opposition from different corners of society. It's worth noting that Trump's reaction wasn't just limited to his social media posts. During a subsequent interview, he doubled down on his disdain for Swift, saying that he never liked her music and criticized her political views as uninformed. This marked a stark contrast to earlier comments Trump had made about Swift, where he had complimented her appearance and talent, albeit in a somewhat backhanded way. In response to Trump's rant, Harris's campaign took the opportunity to turn the situation into a humorous, yet pointed, critique of Trump's behavior. They released a statement filled with references to Taylor Swift songs, suggesting that Trump was behaving like the smallest man who ever lived, and that his emotions were getting the best of him. The statement went viral, especially among Swift's fans, who found the play on words from her songs to be a clever way to engage with the issue. This isn't the first time Swift and Trump have clashed. Back in 2020, Swift openly criticized Trump for his handling of the protests and civil unrest across the country. She accused him of promoting division and hatred, which led to a sharp rebuke from Trump. Swift's increasing political activism has made her a frequent target for Trump and his supporters, who often accuse celebrities like her of being out of touch with average Americans. However, Swift's influence, especially among younger voters, cannot be underestimated. Her ability to mobilize a significant portion of the electorate has proven to be a powerful force. In fact, many political analysts have noted that Swift's involvement in the 2024 election could play a crucial role in mobilizing voters, particularly those who may otherwise be disengaged from the political process. As the 2024 election draws closer, this feud between Swift and Trump is likely to intensify. For Swift, the stakes are high. She has positioned herself as a figure who represents progressive values and social justice. And her support for Harris is just one example of her commitment to these ideals. For Trump, attacking celebrities like Swift allows him to energize his base, many of whom share his disdain for what they perceive as Hollywood elites interfering in politics. This clash also highlights the broader cultural divide in America. On one side, you have figures like Swift, who use their platforms to advocate for social change and political engagement. On the other, you have Trump and his supporters, who believe that entertainers should stick to entertainment and leave politics to the politicians. This tension between entertainment and politics is nothing new, but in the era of social media, it has reached new heights. In the end, 
Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris and Trump's reaction to it are just the latest examples of how intertwined politics and pop culture have become. As Swift continues to use her platform to advocate for the causes she believes in, and as Trump continues to rally his base with fiery rhetoric, this is a feud that is unlikely to die down anytime soon. What do you think? Should celebrities like Taylor Swift be more involved in politics, or should they stay out of it? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news and controversies.